there was some relief for Eurozone shoppers in June. Data out on Friday showed inflation in the 20 countries that share the euro fell to 5.5% this month from 6.1% in May. That as the cost of fuel tumbled, more than offsetting an acceleration in prices for services. But the data pointed to only the smallest drop in underlying inflation, a change unlikely to sway the European Central Bank, which has pencilled in a ninth consecutive rate hike for July and is eyeing one in September too. Friday's figures mark the seventh decline in inflation over the last eight months, with only Germany reporting an increase. But policymakers consider core inflation, which excludes energy and food, to be a better gauge of the underlying trend. And that only edged down from 6.9% to 6.8%, far from the drop the central bank wants to see. It raised interest rates to their highest level in over 20 years this month, as it predicted inflation would stay above its 2% target through the end of 2025. And this week, President Christine Lagarde said that the central bank was unlikely to call a peak in rates anytime soon. And on that front, you know, we, we are not seeing enough tangible evidence of the fact that underlying inflation, particularly the domestic prices, are stabilising and moving down.